Hello, today we are going to make pop-up boxes with our Cricut machine. Okay. So here you go. You give this box to somebody, they open it up, and all the boxes pop out. You can put photos, messages, whatever you'd like on your box. At the end of the video, I actually added some confetti and glitter to it. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so I am Lucine, and this is Cricut How To's. Why don't we go ahead and get started? This is the Cricut design number if you want to get it that way, but it's a lot easier to get it off my blog or from the Cricut Lovers Friendship Group. Both of those are at the end of the video. When you open your project, what you're going to see is the screen if you are at 75%. If you're not at 75%, come down into the little left-hand corner there where the little gray plus and minus is and switch that to minus so that you've got 75%. That way you can see everything on the screen. Okay, here on the left is the box. It's two parts. You will need two of those for every box you make. And the little blue panels are the cover to decorate your box. If you don't wish to decorate your boxes, you can turn those off. If you're going to decorate with photos, then you just need to leave one there so you can use it as a template. So that's pretty easy to do. All right, this is the bottom of the box and the little yellow panel inside is to decorate it. If you have two-sided paper, you don't need that. Two-sided cardstock, sorry. And then the lid of the matchbox and also a decorative panel, which if you don't want, you can get rid of. What you need to do to get rid of it is highlight it. It will turn gray over in the layers panel. Come over, turn off the eyeball and it'll disappear and it won't cut. So if you don't want to cut that, just turn it off. All right, now we're going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to hit make it. And that's going to take me to the page. And the very first thing at the top is the box. And you will need five or six of these cut to fill your match box. So you'll need five or six of that. And then you'll just need one of the box and you'll need five or six of the little blue boxes if you're going to decorate all your boxes and cut a real quick tip for putting your paper on your mat make sure you line it up the sides are open you don't want anything there so the rollers can go by and burnish it down to your mat really tight because we're doing a lot of scoring and a lot of cutting and you don't want that to fly up as it's going now we're going to make uh, our first box. You will need two of the box pieces, four of the panels. Uh, if you decide you want to do this um, with photographs, just cut out one for a template. A bone folder, glue, and a rubber band. There are so lots of sizes of rubber band. These work, okay, this narrow one. These work a little better. Uh, these are way too thick. That'll rip your paper up. So one of these. These have so much elastic in them that you're not going to get quite as good of a pop. So I recommend these. All right. So let's take your piece. And it's got all the score lines done. The first three you're going to worry about is this one right down the middle. And then on the side, this is for your little rubber band holder. So fold that back. And then fold both of your other ones up. So what you get is this little pinch pocket right here. In fact, the score lines, it's pretty easy. You can almost just take it and go, whoop, and there it is. It's right there. All right, you're going to fold your back piece up. All of your folding for these are done from the inside. So if you want to do it, make it a little easier on you when you cut these out, cut them out wrong side up so your score lines are on the inside. Alright, now you're going to make the wings. The score line is right here and this is going to match this piece right here perfectly so you can just fold that over and push it down. Then this piece here is going to match this piece right here. So this corner is going to go to this corner and there's a score line already made right there. You're just going to push that down and you're going to score it. And then this piece is going to come up. So you're going to fold 
this piece in, even with that. We're going to fold this piece back on the score line, right like so. And then you're going to fold this piece in. So what you've got are kind of like little wings with the valleys going up like that. Little wings. Let's do the other one real quick so you can see. This is going to cover the hole perfectly. Here's your score line. All right, maybe not perfectly. This piece is going to fold back. And this piece goes in. So you get your little wing. So this piece goes over. And these have not been pre folded, it's just the score lines. This one goes in. And this one comes over. And for some reason, that's not. It must have slipped a little when it was being scored. It won't affect anything. All right, now we're going to put our two pieces together. You um, line them up in a choo-choo train. You've got your plain wing, plain wing. So you've got a plane and a wing right there together. Get your glue. Oh, my tip came off. Get your glue. Glue. Wing. Make sure you get it in the corners and the edges. The corners and the edges are what's important. Bring it up, nice and even, and push it down. All right, now we're going to put in our rubber bands. I'm going to take my rubber band and I'm going to cut it open. Okay. And I'm going to go through both these holes. And I'm going to tie a double knot. If you're worried about it coming undone, you can put a drop of glue on that. Mine never have. That doesn't mean they won't. All right, and I'm going to pull this up. Go through the holes and you see how that pulls up you want okay when you're pulling that rubber band up and you're ready to tie it you want that to be about a little less than a 45 degree angle so pull it tight okay. and tie it in a knot Actually might be a little tight. There. there you go, it'll stretch out flat. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it if it's curved, that isn't gonna hurt anything. Now I'm gonna put hold this piece down while I close this side together. Alright, so I've got my wings in. I'm going to put glue on those. Make sure you get your corners and your edges. And then you're just going to get the flap out of the way here and lay that flat down on top of it. If you did put a drop of glue on your rubber band, make sure you're, that dries before you try to glue your edges done because you don't want to glue this to your rubber band. I'm going to move my scissors over here to hold that down, and I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to put glue on this one, and this one, and I'm also going to put glue on the top of this one. Now I'm going to bring this over and down. Decorate it. I'm 
going to put pumpkins and some in here. And I'm going to put more pumpkins. And I'm going to put this here, which I will write some kind of saying on it, like this one says Happy Boo Day or Trick or Treat. I'll write something on there. And it's done. Okay, we're almost done. You will need uh, five or six of the boxes we just made. And now we're going to make the matchbox. It's super easy. If you would like to add confetti to your piece, I made my confetti pieces about one inch um, in length. So, and that seemed to work pretty good. All right, now we're gonna put the matchbox together. Uh, this is the bottom piece. This is double-sided cardstock. If you don't use double-sided cardstock, then you might wanna use that decorated panel for the inside. Uh, it's scored in the four places. Just fold those pieces up toward the inside, then um, fold your, <clears throat> excuse me, then fold your corner pieces inside. So easy. Now we're going to put a little glue on the inside of our pieces. I use art glitter glue, by the way stuff is like magic, which you've probably heard me say that before if you've watched any of my other videos. Okay, so we're going to add glue to the uh, inside of those little boxes. Remember, make sure you get glue in the corners and on the edges. That is the most important places for them to be. You put a big blob of glue inside, it's going to um, come loose on the edges and look uh, yucky. So glue those in there. And do the other side. I like to make sure my tabs are on the inside so they don't show. Get you a much more professional finish that way. Okay, and that is the bottom. All done. All right, let's put that to the side and do the top. It's also nice and ready to go and scored. And we're going to fold it on the four score lines which I can't see. I know they're there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so one. Two. I like to use the bone folder to press my score lines down. Nice and sharp. Again, it gives you a much better finish. If you have um, cardstock that tears the edges when you fold it, this is not doing that, or I would show you. I usually take a gold or a silver ink pad and cover those marks up. It makes it look like it was just decorated that way, so it will cover up any kind of little marks that might happen because of the fold on your cardstock. All right, here we go. Glue. Again, make sure you got your edges and your corners, and lay that flat and then just put your top right on top of that. That'll give you a nice finish too and make sure that it's exactly square and then fold it back the other way and give it another little push down for the glue. All right, yeah. Okay, and there is the lid and your matchbox will go right inside there. Cool. Okay, here is one of the matchboxes that I did and I added the homemade confetti and I put a little bit of sprinkle glitter on the top four layers. And this is in slow motion. How cool would that be with photos on it? Okay, I've got to do that one more time just because it's fun. Here it goes. Up, 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 up and away. <laughs> Too much fun. All right, um, if you don't already have the template for this Cricut design, you can get it 
at Linda Lucene at blogspot.com. It will be available there. Or you can join the Cricket Lovers Friendship Group on Facebook. It is not a selling group. It is just a group with free templates and questions and answers, and it's fun. So go ahead and go over there and join that if you'd like to. So I hope to see you there. Anyway, thanks for watching.